Isabella and this is my first ever video and today I'm going to show you my collection of Jacqueline Wilson books and I'm going to be rating them from one to five star and I might do one and a half star, two and a half star, three and a half star, four and a half star, something like that and so first of all I'm going to show you my Hetty Feather series and I've got all of the books, all five of the books and so first of all I've got Hetty Feather. And I'm going to read you the back. London, 1876. Hetty Feather is a tiny, fair, fiery-haired baby. When her desperate mother leaves her at the family hospital, sent to live with a foster family in the country until she is big enough to go to school, as she plays vivid, imaginary games with her foster brothers. Together they sneak off to visit the circus, and Hetty is mesmerized by the stunning Madame Agile and her performing horses. Hattie's happiness is threatened when she returns to the family hospital and to the strict regime of the cool, of the cruel matrons. Above all, Hattie is determined to find her mother, wherever she may be. And this is a really good book. It's really exciting, and when I read it, I could not put it down. And so I'm going to rate it four and a half star. It wasn't really good. Well, it wasn't good enough to be five star, but. It could because it could get a bit boring at times, but four and a half star is still very good, and I found it really like like adventurous um, because like well, Hedy's in the in the country with a with her foster family, and then she becomes really sad because she's at the founding hospital, something like that, and it's a really good book. And you should definitely buy it. And the second book in the series, I have Sapphire Battersea. And in this book, she meets a lot of people. So she meets Bertie the Butcher's Boy, Fantastic Friend of the Female Giant, Miss Frisket the Formidable Housekeeper, and Madame Baran's Link to the Spirit World. And she meets all of those people. And she meets a few more people as well. And it's a really good book. And you should definitely buy it. And I liked it even more than Hetty Feather. And so I'm going to rate it 5 star. Because it, really, it was a really good book. And you should definitely buy it. And yeah, it was really good and adventurous. So yeah. The third book in the series, I have Emerald Star. And I'm just going to read you a bit of the back. But which path will she choose? Her long lost father, her beloved gem, a mysterious figure from her past. And, well, she probably... Well, she... She, well, she probably chooses all of these paths, but there's only, but, well, she stays with her long lost father, and then with Jem, and then she goes off and joins the circus at the end of the book. So really she chooses the circus, because the mysterious figure from her past is Madame Adeline. So she really chooses the circus. And I'm going to rate this book five star. I really loved it a lot, and I could not put it down when I read it. And you should definitely buy it because it is a really, really, really good book. And it's five stars, so it's really good. <laughs> and the next book I have is Diamond. And, and it's a really good book. Um, it's a Hetty Feather book, but it's narrated by Diamond here. But Hetty is in it. And... In this book, Hetty is called Emerald Star, the female ringmaster. And I'm just going to tell you a bit about the book. Um, Diamond, well, her real name is Ellen Jane, but um, her father sold her for five guineas because um, Beppo here, the clown, um, saw her perform and he thought she'd be a good acrobat for him. So then she bought, um, he bought her and then she was Diamond Acrobat Child Wonder. And it's a really good book. Um, I'm going to read it four star. It wasn't the best book, but four star is still very good. 
and it's actually quite smaller than the other compared to the other Hattie Feather books. And it's really good and you should definitely buy it. And next I've got Little Stars. And Little Stars is my favourite Hattie Feather book and my favourite Jacqueline Wilson book. So it's a really good book. And I'm going to read to you the back. Grand opening tonight. Love Crow gossip and shirt the fabulous tale of little stars. Hetty Feather and Diamond. With special gifts, Miss Ruby, mistress of the hall. Miss Gibbs, Miss Gibson, just make her up to the stars. Marina Royal, Hetty's new heroine. Flirty Bertie, Hetty's sweetheart. Dear Jim, Hetty's first love. Madge Madeline, their most treasured friend. For one night only, don't miss their greatest adventure. And as you can see, it's a really big book. And I'm going to read it five star because it's my favourite Jacqueline Wilson book and my favourite Hattie Feather book. And it was really exciting and everything. And um, she also meets some people. Well, she meets one person um, that she met in Sapphire Battersea. And that is Bertie the Butcher's Boy. He's here and here. And it's a really good book and you should definitely buy it. And that was the end of the Hetty Feather series. And now I'm gonna... That was the last book in the series. And now I've got Lily Alone. And Lily Alone is a really good book. It's my second favourite Jacqueline Wilson book. And I'm gonna rate it five star. And it's quite good because um, Lily is 11 and, well, her mum goes on holiday and she's left um, to look after her two sisters and, a, and her brother. Well, her, step, her stepfather was meant to look after them, but, um, well, Lily didn't want him to because he's all scary and everything. Well, he isn't scary to the kids but she doesn't like him so she told him that her mum was going to look after them and so then she was left alone with them so then um they stayed in their flat for a bit because they live in a flat but then it was too dangerous to stay any longer in case people came like social workers or police or something and so they left um, to go to the to go to a park and they camp there, and it's a really good book and it's really exciting and I've only just finished it, and you should definitely buy it. Oh, and I also forgot to show you from something from Little Stars. Um, it's because I haven't read Little Stars, as you can see, I'm only halfway. And I'm still reading it. <laughs> and then that's, now I have secrets. And this is Treasure. And this is India. And Treasure narrates um, the first chapter. And then India narrates the second. And then Treasure narrates the third. And India the fourth. And then it continues the fifth, sixth, the seventh, the eighth. It continues like that. As you can see, it's quite a small book, but I liked it a lot, and I'm going to rate it four star. Um, sometimes it could get a bit boring. It could get like a bit boring sometimes, but at the beginning it's quite fun and exciting. And when I read it, I could not put the book down, like with Hetty Feather and Emerald Star. It was a really good book, and you should definitely buy it. Next I have sleepovers, and I'm going to read you the back. Sleepover parties are the greatest, everybody's having one. All of Daisy's friends in the Alphabet Club, Amy, Bella, Chloe and Emily have had sleepovers for their birthdays. Daisy has a dilemma, she'd love to have a sleepover too, but then she'd have to let her friends meet her sister. And this is Daisy. This is Emily, 
this is Bella. That's Bella. And that's Amy. And that's Chloe. And I'm going to rate it four star. It was a really good book. And you should definitely buy it. Next I have Jeff Daydream. And on the back, there's a photo. On the back, there's a photo of her from when she was younger, when she was a child. And also, um, there was also photos in here, like um, in chapter one, chapter two, and all of the chapters, on um, all of the like the pages when the chapter began, there was a photo. And I quite like looking at the photos, and also at the end it includes it um shows her school reports. And so I'm gonna write this book full star because it could get a bit boring at times because she kept on like saying things that she had said before. But apart from that, it was a really good book. And now I have the worst thing about my sister. And it's narrated by Marty here. And it's about and it's about two girls. This is Melissa and that's Marty. And Marty is like a tomboy and then Melissa is like a really girly girl and they're always having fights and it's very interesting. And yeah, it's really interesting. And I'm gonna write it from Three and a half. I'm gonna write a three and a half star. And it was, it, it could get quite boring at some times, but it was still like a very exciting book. And you should, and you should definitely buy it. The next I have is Katie. And as you can see, it's a really big book, <laughs> especially with the hardback. Usually the hardbacks are, are bigger than the, the the paperbacks because they take up so much room because of their hard covers and they make them look bigger than they really are. <coughs> but this book was really good. I'm going to rate it five star. And I could not put the book down. And it was really good. And it says to, can you still fly if you can't walk? And it's really, really good, and you should definitely buy it. And then the next book I have is The Butterfly Club. And it's about a triplet called Tina, and she's really small compared to her sisters, like her two other sisters. Um... And she's really small compared to them. And her mum, and they're always looking after her. And her name's Tina. And they're always looking after Tina because her mum is always worried that, that she's going to get hurt because she's so small. Um, and it's a really good book. And I'm going to rate her four star. And it was a really good book and you should definitely buy it. And I've got the Diary 2016. And it's got like games inside and also a space to write in every day. And I also have. Um, I'm going to show you some books that I haven't read. And so, first of all, I have Open Plumstead. That's a really good book really big book as you can see and I don't know what to rate it because I've only read about eight chapters of it but so far it is really good and I think you should probably buy it and now I've got my sister Jodie and as you can see I've only read half of it and so far it's a really good book but the same as Opal Plum said I'm not going to rate it because I don't know what to rate it but it's a really good book and I think you should buy it and I've also got um the how to draw the world how to draw the world of Jacqueline Wilson um and 
it's quite a new book and it shows you how to draw her most famous characters like um, Jody, um, Tracy, Hetty, um, Claire, William and it's also good for like, um, and also has like good tips for writing other things so it's a really good book and I think you should buy it. And I'm also going to be quickly going to show you, um, yeah, I'm also going to quickly show you, um, these, um, they're like, it has like this, it's got like, it came in a magazine, and it's got the first three chapters of the story, and this one's Rent a Bridesmaid, and, and the next one is Little Stars. And that's got, and this one has the first four chapters. And next I have Katie. And this one has got the first three chapters. And yeah, that's the end of my video. And I hope you enjoyed. And remember to comment, like, and subscribe and thumbs up down below and i hope you enjoy them bye